My custom back test labels. Returning subscribers to the channel will have seen these labels in multiple videos that I have made, but we've never really actually sat down and focused on how it's built, what it's doing, and why I believe it is the best custom code I've ever built within Thinkorswim. Strategies within Thinkorswim, like you see running on the chart behind my head here, don't actually place real money trades for you. They rather instead exist to help to visualize the entrance and exit conditions of your strategy, and more importantly, to automate the data gathering process of back testing so you can much more rapidly build and optimize profitable trading strategies. The major issue with this is that the report native within Thinkorswim doesn't actually show a lot of detail. I can load up the report for the strategy that I'm currently running. You can see every trade that's been taken. And at the bottom, you can see a few statistics like the max trade PL, the total trade PL, and the total number of trades. But that's not enough information to actually determine how effective the strategy is. So what you typically need to do from this point is you need to export the file, plug it into Excel, and then format it in Excel and perform all the calculations manually over there. And I've done this. I used to do it a lot pull the reports from Thinkorswim, format them in Excel, and then build some more useful calculations, such as win percentage, such as the max loss, etc., within Excel to get a better understanding of the performance of the strategy I'm testing. And I'm not complaining. This method was still awesome. It took a couple hours to get everything formatted in Excel and all the equations built over there, but this is still way faster than the couple days it would take before I began utilizing code when I would have to go through and manually find and write down every entrance and exit condition. Thus, the idea for the back test labels was built. What if I could have the calculations performed automatically based on any strategy that I have turned on and it can be running against any ticker and against any time frame, and it will all automatically adjust and update to the strategy running against said chart. You can test your strategy on Bitcoin. You can test your strategy on futures. Anything that you can chart within Thinkorswim, you can run a strategy against, and anything that you can run a strategy against, my back test labels will provide you statistics for. You can even use it to test strategies on options. Let's go ahead quickly and just showcase this as well, that it will work on any strategy because I'm currently running a swing trading strategy. Let's go ahead and load in one of my custom built day trading strategies instead. And let's send an options chain over to the chart. Let's look at the closest expiration at the money spy contract. We will send it to the red chart. Then let's go down to say the two minute time frame and intraday time frame. Here you go. You can see the strategy running directly against the price action of this options chain and the statistics of how it's performing. Once again, just to showcase anything you can chart within Thinkorswim, you can run strategies against and you can immediately get instant feedback on the performance of said strategy. If you can't tell by now, this code is obviously extremely powerful and I'm about to get into even some more use cases that can help make you a better trader. Just before we do, I need to let you know that it is available alongside over 150 plus other custom thinkorswim codes on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. Let's hop into the free codes I offer real quick, just so I can show you how easy it is. All of the 150 plus codes will come with one of these TOS share links. All you need to do is copy that link back within your Thinkorswim application, set up in the top right, open shared item, paste, preview, and 
import. Just like that 10 seconds and three mouse clicks, you now have my custom codes locally saved within your own Thinkorswim. This means you can obviously turn them on your own charts and it means you get access to read and edit the source code. So if you wanna go in and learn how the codes are built or adjust them to fit your own trading styles, et cetera, et cetera, feel free to do that as well. So go get yourself these back test labels alongside the over 30 different both day trading and swing trading strategies that I have published on my website that you can test utilizing these labels. Once again, the website will be linked in the description down below. I'm not gonna insult your intelligence too much by going through what every single one of these labels means. They're all pretty obvious, but I do wanna talk in detail about these last two labels being the max drawdown and the associated max drawdown percentage. What this represents is from left to right on the chart, so from past to future, what is the largest difference in peak profit versus loss? So what's like the largest trough in the running PL over time, right? So here, for instance, you go from being up $1,600 to down $400. That's about a 2,000, well, not about, it is a $2,000 drawdown. That's actually not the max drawdown. I don't know exactly where the max drawdown is on this chart, but that is what this represents. Actually, from here, you go from up $6,300 to here up $3,600. That might be about the max drawdown, maybe maybe right here, this period is the max drawdown. But anyway, that is what that represents. And it's a very important statistic to consider. I find it the most important statistic and I try to keep it under 30%. Now, this percentage will differ from trader to trader, it depends on your trade style, depends on your trade goals. If your goal is to go for more explosive growth, like, I wanna turn $1,000 into 25,000 by the end of the year. That's a crazy high goal for trading, right? You're probably going to have to take on riskier strategies, so you're going to need to be more comfortable with higher max drawdown percentages. But I target 30% or less, and I find that the stocks that have the lower max drawdown percentage tend to translate the best from back testing to live trading. Anybody can make a strategy that makes a lot of money on static data, right? Back testing is really finicky and a lot of people don't like back testing because unfortunately they have fallen into the trap of a lot of fake back test. Oh my God, look at how much money the strategy makes. Often the strategy is repainting, it's cheating in some way, it's going back and buying back in time, or it just has like a 95% max drawdown percentage. That's not a good strategy. If it makes a ton of money, but has a huge max drawdown percentage, the risk profile is way too high. You cannot trade a strategy like that, even though in the past it's worked really well. That max drawdown percentage, once again, just to reiterate, gives the best conditions for a strategy that is actually going to translate to live trading. And something else these backtest labels help you do is more than just backtesting a single strategy, it teaches you how the market works, how strategies in general work. I've turned on a new strategy now. You will notice maybe taking a lot less trades. This is a continuation trading strategy. It is looking to buy strength and hold that strength until it proves the stock is no longer strong anymore. Well, on a continuation strategy like this, you'll notice it has a low win percentage, 37% win rate. Trey, how is that a good strategy? It's a good strategy because the average win is $2,600 while the average loss is $800. That's the seesaw of profitability. It's win percentage and risk reward. They both need to be taken into effect. And when once again, you have labels like this turned on, you can see how that seesaw balance is working and how it's working on specific trading strategies. For example, once again, the continuation strategy targets a high risk reward at the cost of a lower win percentage. 
Whereas if I turn back on my reversal swing trading strategy, this is the one we were looking at earlier, but you'll notice the holds are much shorter. I am scaling into dips and then selling the first sign of strength. And you can see right away the difference in continuation trading strategies versus reversal trading strategies in how they can make you a profitable trader. My reversal trading strategy has a 90% win percentage. However, the average win is $200 and the average loss is $400. So for reversal trading strategies, you are targeting a high win percentage at the expense of a bad risk reward. Because when you lose with this strategy, you can lose large. The idea is that the win percentage is so high that not only, once again, not only is the total PL green, Total PL green, like yay yippee, obviously you're gonna care about that. But what's more important is the max drawdown percentage sits at less than 20%. In summary, back testing is a vital part of becoming a profitable trader. Not everything that works in back testing is going to translate to being profitable in live trading. But what I can promise you is things that don't work in back testing are definitely not going to work in live trading. So what back testing does is it just saves you so much time and money. It teaches you not only what strategies work, remember, because we just talked about how these labels can teach you in general how the market moves and how you should be trading specific trading strategies in order to make money in the market. Reversal trading strategies, if you're buying dips, you should be looking to get out quick and target a high win percentage. Continuation trading strategies, you should be willing to hold and maximize the profit because you understand the winning percentage is going to be lower. Those are two very important things that I have learned that I can now apply to trading forever for the rest of my life that I learned through back testing. So it's gonna save you time and money, it's gonna teach you how the market works, and it's going to help make you a better trader. That much I can promise. I can't, I'm not legally allowed to promise you that back testing will make you a profitable trader, but it will make you a better trader. It will give you a better understanding of how the market moves. And if you are using automated labels like the ones I have built here in Thinkorswim, it just greatly speeds up that process, right? There are really three levels to back testing. The first level, the foundation level is having to go through and manually find and write down all the entrance and exit conditions. That takes days, if not weeks. It takes a very long time. The second is utilizing code to pull these reports, right? To take these reports, pull them into Excel, perform the calculations over there. And the third and final is to just have the labels automatically built like this. You go from step one, taking days and days of time to back test and optimize and understand how a strategy works down to basically zero time. As fast as you can write the strategy code, you will have immediate feedback on the performance of said strategy, which leads to immediate optimization, which is going to allow for you to build and optimize many more strategies much quicker. In summary, back test, back test, back test. It'll change your life forever. And I don't see how you can't find these back test labels to be useful enough by themselves for the cost of admission over on my website. Once again, check it out in the link in the description down below. Go click sign up and become a better trader today. With all that being said, hit like if you learned something in this video, subscribe if you would like to continue learning. And with all that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out of this video and I'll catch y'all in the next one.